As the countywide chair of your Board of Commissioners, I can tell you that the health and safety of our community is our top priority. And right now, protecting the public from the further spread of the new coronavirus or COVID-19 is what it's all about. We don't have all the answers yet for what will happen with COVID-19, but one thing that is certain is that your county government has been planning, preparing, and is now fully engaged in responding to this pandemic. Part of this planning involves ensuring the continuity of critical public services. As we work together to slow the spread of this new disease and eventually recover from its impact, local, state, and federal agencies are working to keep essential functions going. That's why I ask that you respond to the 2020 Census. The Census provides vital information to determine fair representation in Congress and influences how the federal government distributes money to states and communities. In Oregon, nearly 19 and a half billion dollars a year is distributed based on census numbers. These federal funds go to public services that are vitally needed right now, such as emergency response, hospitals and health care programs, schools, housing, food support, and so on. Federal funds based on census information also support our local economy and infrastructure, including unemployment insurance, low-income energy assistance, support for transit and for our roads and bridges. These resources are needed now more than ever to address the impacts of COVID-19 and to support the vitality of our community as we one day recover from this pandemic. By now, you should have received your first invite asking you to participate in Census 2020. If you've already completed your census questionnaire, thank you. If you've not yet received an invite in your mailbox, please use your computer or smartphone. Go to my2020census.gov to complete your questionnaire. You can also respond by phone using the official census toll-free number. If these options are not available, you can wait for the paper survey to eventually arrive by mail. Please be careful about misinformation and scams that might lead you to non-official web pages or phone numbers. Census workers must present an ID badge that includes their photo, the U.S. Department of Commerce watermark, and an expiration date. To verify an employee's credentials, call the Census Bureau employee verification number. What a great example of something we can all do while social distancing to prevent the spread of COVID-19. As you've heard already, the most important ways to slow the spread of new coronavirus include washing your hands well and often, and coughing and sneezing into your sleeve or a tissue. The Stay Home Save Lives order from Governor Kate Brown requires us all to stay home unless we need food, medicine, or other necessary items, or if our job is considered critical and must be done in person. We all need to follow these new rules. Guidance and recommendations for COVID-19 are changing every day, sometimes minute to minute, based on new information we are learning. Stay up to date by visiting the websites and social media feeds for Washington County Health and Human Services, Oregon Health Authority, and the U.S. Centers for Disease Control and Prevention. If you have general questions about COVID-19, please call 211. We're all in this together. Thank you 
for participating in the 2020 census and for helping to prevent the spread of the new coronavirus.